Saibona Dumela Molo. Hello. I have a date with a young man. Most young girls in South Africa have had their eyes on him for some time in Ook van Ons Getrouwde Vrouwens. He's a confirmed bachelor. He is an ambitious politician and he's, well, he's young enough to be my son. That's why my motherly instincts are flooding to the fore. <laughs> Herr Gerhard, wir fahren sofort in der Schloss von Herr Tony Leon. Haben Sie verstanden? Hmm? Did you understand? Jebo? It's amazing what you can learn from the TV, ne? <laughs> Hello, Tony. How are you? Oh, my lekker, thank you. Come in. Het gezegd kom vandaag. Is dat wat kan today? Pak gat. Pak gat. Tony, Tony, kom in. Wonderful. So many things have changed since I was here last. When were you last here, Vita? Yes, you were just moved in. How long ago was this? Three years. Ja, die hele plek was wel boxed en interessante dingen. But you've done so much beautiful decoration. Did you decorate this all yourself? A little bit of assistance from a few friends at the mm, time. And kick your moy photos. I see the famous photograph of you and and Nelson. That's right, and Zach de Beer. And Zach de Beer. We were being entertained to a family dinner in Houghton at the time. The family, the, the, the Mandela family. The Madiba lived in Houghton. Lieve Arte, and daar achter is ook een baie interessant. Dis my pa. Ach ja, ja. Is, is that your graduation picture? That is, and he was the guest speaker at my own graduation oh, ceremony. Oh, that's wonderful. Yeah. Oh, it was man for the stool. Oh. Lieve Arte, sit lekker makkelijk. Ek moet een bykie sit. Ek is so, oh, da, baie lekker. Have I got something to show you? Really? I, I met your mother at the opera. Oh, yes. Yeah. And she's, of course, very worried that you don't eat properly, no? <laughs> yeah, and also the Biki Gasset, I went and visited her. We talked about our children, of course, you and your brother Peter. She You've showed got a very me... biased view about her children from our mother. Well, mothers <laughs> always know the best, no? <laughs> Will uh, their geese become swans? Your mother always knew that you were going to become a very important politician. She said Prime Minister. Do you remember that? Yes, uh, maybe that's what I told her, but it's not to be at the moment. Mm, Got to yeah. content myself with leadership of the DP. But that's <laughs> a very, very good start. Leave yeah. harder. We never thought it was possible that the DP could survive so long. And then, of course, she showed me these wonderful photographs, and I thought I'd just borrow them. Embarrassment. <laughs> Look, do you remember that one? No, I'm afraid. A little before <laughs> my time. Well, this was, was my time. It was, yeah. it was you as a little boy. Do you well, remember how old you were there? No, I Must was have been a few months, few months old, yeah. I suppose. Prachtig. No one would believe it. Well, ek it, but baby, I you know. can see that little baby face right in front of me. This, of course, is very nice with this. Is this your graduation? That's the first 19... one. That's a BA. Oh, that was before 1983. Yes. What, when was this? Oh, that was 1980. It was 1980, mm. before you went into the legal yes. uh, degree, no? just had a bachelor's degree. Then did this bond, so this Long hair and a baby face. Ek kan sien <laughs> Very Clinton hierdie, no? Very nice. There we are. Then, of course, this I thought was so sweet. We had to take it out of the frame because she keeps it in the frame. But that was your first victory, ne? In Bellevue and Johannesburg, City Council, 1986. Very interesting. You know, my son, um, Izan. Oh, yes. I are. think you met each other when the... the yeah, you, what did you do? You took black people to swim in the Hillbrow swimming pool. To break pool. the segregation. And do you remember the RVB? Yes. Yes. His son was on the other side. He was and he threw you in the pool. <laughs> or did you throw him in the pool? He well, says he threw you in the pool. Well, eh? there was a lot of uh, <laughs> fighting. Now, I just want to talk to you about your taste in women. Uh, because I spoke to your mother and she said, I'm too old for you. And of course, my daughter, <laughs> Billy Jean, is married, so that's too late. But you said the ideal woman must have the looks of Marilyn Monroe and the mind of Margaret Thatcher. Yeah, well, I probably did say that once upon a time. Yeah. No such combination exists, I've discovered in real life. I could buy hot prebeer. I could craft the prebeer. I've got my Maggie Thatcher jacket on. Power dressing. Power dressing. <laughs> yes. And I thought, uh, and here's a very, very interesting picture with a very pretty girl who, uh, of course, well, not the looks of Marilyn Monroe, more of the looks of Margaret Thatcher and the mind of Marilyn Monroe. <laughs> <laughs> Michelle, Michelle Bruce, Bruce yes. She was one of your candidates in the election. That's right. Very yeah. brave girl. Want Yellow was almost also in Swart Townships. Didn't you go in with a bus? We went in with a battle bus, we called it. A battle bus. And she was actually one of the more um, effective campaigners. The Sunday Times, which is, likes having a go at me every so often, uh, made the point that, you know, I was totally remote and switched off. That you sat and in the bus listening to your Walkman and she yes, went and around handing Michelle, out Michelle, you know, <laughs> <laughs> Michelle was more animated. This is very interesting. But it's a nice print. And here is a prachtige print of you and him. 
Oh, yes. Bert, is this one of your hobbies? That was. I haven't been riding for some time, but I used to go every weekend. Well, I have a feeling that you might, in fact, um, take me to your favourite riding place. Oh, well, that will be a great <laughs> pleasure. Oh, my dit is dan prachtig. So is this your, this your, your dog? This is Clementine Leon. <laughs> Clementine Leon, come oh, over for your nut tongue, Clementine. Yes, a nut hunt. Near <laughs> deep hunt, Lene. Isn't she wonderful? Mm. Gosh, she reminds me of so many wives of former prime ministers. <laughs> Looks like the... one or two former prime ministers. <laughs> Just born to look. Oh, my God. Tony, now that you are the, the leader of the DP, where do you intend to take your party? Well, I want to grow the party, obviously, mm. to make it into a more dynamic political force than it's been. And I think it's very important that it has a role, because if South Africa is going to be a democracy, then it needs a democratic party in the sense that what the party stands for, really free enterprise economics, tolerant democracy, mm. a diverse and respecting population. I think those are the kinds of attributes that a successful South Africa needs. The better the DP does, the better South Africa will be doing. Absolutely, absolutely. But is there a place for the DP in this new political society of ours? I believe so. I think the last election was um, a once-off in the sense that people voted entirely, almost entirely, on ethnic grounds. Mm. Blacks uh, overwhelming for the ANC, whites, coloureds and Indians uh, for the National Party. And there wasn't much left over for the DP and other parties. Yeah. But um, if we're going to get to be a successful democracy, then a party like the DP um, must start doing well. And I think, you know, we're going to see the first signs of that revival and recovery in the municipal elections later this year. Oh, no elections. Yeah. Oh, kijk hier zo. Dat is een vriendelijke perky. When did you start liking horses? Oh, when I was about seven, I was very uh, taken with horses. Used to go for riding lessons yeah. and sort of continued on and off. But um, I'm afraid I'm lapsed. I haven't been for quite some time Ach, and nee. I never have the opportunity. Is and you get on to other things, you know. Of course, and they're faster than horses, <laughs> like careers, man. My yeah. husband, Hasi, once had a race was in Paraguay, but somebody ate it off for it. It is a mooi klein hart, isn't, isn't it? Yeah. Kom ons gaan spring op ons per en jaag die woestijne in. Oh, ek is op my wand, ek op ten. I'm going to give you a leg up now, Evita. Dankie, Stuck. <laughs> Now put the other leg across. Mama, leave a order. This is how you run a political party. No wonder we're in trouble. Sage, stop, stop. That's my boss. Not here. My microphone. Oh, need that. Testing, testing. On a horse, on a horse. That's it. Oh, prachtig ding. Very nice. Whoop. Hello. Hello. Hello, Evita. <laughs> Tony, how are you? I'm all the better for hearing from you. My dear, you will never guess where I am now. I could get hazard a guess. <laughs> no, that wasn't one of my sounds. That was a horse in the background. <laughs> I'm on horseback. Oh, leave a in my pad is full of I'm on horseback next to the most eligible young man in town, and I'm having a wonderful time. And what are you doing? You're sitting at your office again as usual? No. No? Not quite. I am actually out with one of the more eligible dowagers of South Africa. Oh, you yes. must give Mrs. Mandela my love. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this is yes. such fun. Isn't modern life wonderful? Can you imagine if we had these cellular phones doing the great trek over the Drakensberg? Old Butelezi would have never ended up in Natal today, ne? Shh. <laughs> Oops. You must protect yeah, Butelezi on TV. No, yeah. Stay with Tony. All is lekker, weer. Tot ziens. Tot ziens. It's here we are at the Witz University campus. I've never liked this place, Tony. Yeah, man. Nie full minister in Swartis, nooit wit nie. You were here for a long time. I right? was. I was a student for six years. Mm -hmm. And then I lectured here for three. And I'm on the university council now. 
And you were on the SRC then? I was, uh, for four years. Yeah, one of those student leaders that made such fun of us in power. No? Oh, I enjoyed that. <laughs> we were so easy to make fun of, eh? Brought Pete Kurnoff here, he never opened his mouth. <laughs> That's a first for Pete. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> when you were here as a student leader, was it easy to actually make your voice heard? Were you arrested and banned? And... Well, I personally wasn't, although I was very really vocal and you active. Weren't I've arrested. got no you credentials got a... in the struggle. <laughs> you have no future in this country. Live on. <laughs> but uh, quite a few of my colleagues, and not to mention one or two adversaries, were very severely dealt with by the system. But by and large, I think the security police and the state were after bigger fish than the Wits SRC leadership when I was here. Mom, what, now? what happens now? I remember during the election campaign, you went to the University of Cape Town, and there was a huge fracas. Uh, they wouldn't allow you your freedom of speech there. So, I Western mean, what Cape. is the University of Cape Town had a, a, a lively meeting, but a very good reception. Was it good, though? Yeah, the majority was on the right side, on the DAP side. Oh, no. For the DAP, the Linke right side. Yeah, but University of Western Cape, that was a, well, I don't want to sound over dramatic, life threatening. Yeah. Because they spilt out of the uh, lecture theatre where I was speaking, about two and a half thousand in the audience, and they chased after us. But they came after us with stones and bottles, and uh, I think I was lucky to get out of there alive. Well, it was by blade. <laughs> so there was no freedom of speech in 1994. That was there that was, was no freedom of speech in many parts of South Africa in 1994, and there still isn't. Mm. Um, so a lot of the activities we were involved in here seem very theoretical indeed, because you see. Evita, as you know, uh, in those days, in the 1970s and early 80s, everyone who was on the side of apartheid was a black hat, and everyone who was against apartheid had a white hat and was good and noble. Yeah. Now we discover, after the struggle, that in fact, simply because people have been oppressed, doesn't mean that they get filled with a sense of nobility or decency. Yeah. It doesn't follow. Yes, your enemy's enemy is your friend. Yeah, no? Did you cool. actually find your inspiration for your future political life here at this university, or did it come earlier? Oh, it started quite early. I was very politically interested. I was a precocious brat at school, and I used to uh, sort of be very taken with politics and what was then the Progressive Party, and I was active in the youth movement. When I came onto campus, it was the first time I'd gotten to the front line of politics, being a candidate for public office, yeah, albeit yeah. the SRC. But I can't believe that anything has ever in later life been in a sense as vicious or as personal as the way we used to fight each other in student elections here. It really was a uh, kind of pretty... Uh, but but that is stuff. a wonderful way to train people, to get it out of their system so that they behave like human beings in, in later elections. <laughs> well, I'm yeah? sorry that certain of my political opponents didn't go through the same thing as well. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it is well. And Tony, here we are, you and me at WITS, and so many of the young students are looking at us and waving at us. <laughs> yeah, lieber Arte, and now tell me something, if we both made speeches here, I in the Great Hall and you in the other hall, who would have the bigger audience, do you think? Oh, I think you would, Rita, <laughs> because... Um, I think that they probably uh, aspire to uh, a little bit of Evita Bezade and hope every one of these students, believe it or not, so? yes. I think you'll be like a relic in the sort of apartheid museum. You'd make museum. me sound like a dinosaur, <laughs> you're static about no, it. Thanks. No, I think it's very nice to have been here, but protected by your aura, of course, because I feel safe here with you, uh, because you could have them all expelled if they throw stones. No? Yes, something like that. <laughs> I think what I'd like to do is take you to the supermarket. You know, I've got children. My son to cook, he's a bachelor. Uh, my other children are married. But I always go and surprise my son with a few packages of things for his little kitchen. And I, I don't think you're eating properly, no? You must eat properly, you must have your vitamins. You must are you sure you're not Jewish, you beat it? Natürlich, niggas Afrikaans. Was is by similar, except that we're more successful. So come, let's go to the, the supermarket Good. and then we'll see if we can stock up in your little kitchen. Eh? <laughs> Yeah, lager rooibos. Lager rooibos tea. For you, a bit of lasagna with yeah. this mala. Oh, here's the longer thing. No, it's cauliflower. Very it's, boring. It's very healthy. No, I don't like cauliflower. No, it's, you've got no choice here. Your mother said you must eat healthy. What is this? Ach, no, it's... No. Ach, no. I think we'll take uh, three or four of these. 
daar is waar je wat gieten terug. Nee, ik wil niet gieten. Ik heb Johnny. Ik is over als je en ik is mooi. Gieten terug. We zitten weer daar. You can eat vegetables and here they are. Come here, come, come, come. Here, look at the Not even George Bush like this. No, but he's still alive, so that's what counts. Um, there are some Vors Rolikis, which I yeah, think man. they're very good for the garden boy. With many, but claim with many. Um, oh nee, dit is niet dat. Wat is hier? Oh ja, hier is boinkies en of romeis. Nee. Uh -uh. I think we'll take about nine. Romeis. Kijk of veel romeis. Oh, voor toch eerst maar barbecue. Kom. Je maas al mijn bloed vergeven niet. Oh, lieve aarde. I haven't done this since the maids went on strike in Barbetico Sweaty. Oh, laat ik zeggen. It's a real drag, Evita. Het is een verschrikkelijke gemoord. Mijn voeten maakt mij klaar. I'm absolutely exhausted. Ach, ik skies dat mijn schoenen nou hier uittrek. New shoes are always the bane of a well-dressed woman's life. Imelda Marcus. <laughs> ja, die arme dan kijk wat ze Do you think we bought you enough things? Do you think your mother will be pleased? I think they're probably disgustingly healthy, most of the things that we bought, uh, Evita. Yeah, they also are. Rooibos tea. Yeah, yeah and also these so buy like a black cat good for you. Maar, ik had a wonderful thing for us gekoop. I know you weren't watching, you were busy looking at something else. And I got these wonderful, this wonderful packet of... Ah, that I got with my packet of sweets. And then if you... Your master, I give you lekkers. And kijk eens op. These are the new politicians. Look at the. There's the Mediba. The Mediba. And there is wie is dit? Bootlazy. Oh, lieve harde bruin genoeg voor hom. En hier is pak. It's wonderful. We can certainly bite one of these heads off and revenge ourselves on on which one he's um. Wie is dit? Tutu. Lekker biki opgefrommel, ne? What is this shebeen you're taking me to? You know, I'm a decent Afrikaans woman. I don't just go to these shebeens and try to... very upmarket, Evita. What it will be very NSA, very new South African. No? Oh, very yuppie. What is yuppie? I don't know what a yuppie is, but everyone says I'm a yuppie. Oh, you a yuppie? Well, I don't know. You're, you're not a yuppie, you're just a very nice young man. Leave it young, after. upwardly mobile professional. That you are. Well? Upwardly mobile politician. Politician. Right? <laughs> so... This shebeen is not a back room that I'm mm. going to be... My handbag will be taken away and I'm There might be, be a bit drunk. of the old South Africa there, oh. but it's all very kind of upmarket and it's very kind of northern <laughs> suburbs and uh, I think Evita will feel at home there. I think I might feel at home, but on your arm. Okay. I'm going to go I'll be back on time. Good. No African time in my life. And then I'll come here with a car, fetch you, and then we'll go to the Shabin. Lekker. Let me put a little bit of and go up the pot. Hello. Hello, my dear. What is your name? My name is Maggie. Maggie, I am Tani Evita Besaidnet and this is Tani Leo. Hello, Maggie. Yeah. Hello. Maggie, what do you have to serve here? I'm serving pap and bars, pap and chicken wings, yeah. pap and tomato and onion, yeah. slap chips. Slap chips. Ooh, slap it's my boy. Bars <laughs> roll mm. and also mopani worms. <gasps> mopani worms. Have you ever had mopani worms? No, and no, I don't know if I want to start now, Evita. Of course, we all have tried. We started democracy. We might as well eat worms. After you, ladies first. We'll try the worms, Maggie. Yes, I'm going to. Kick with dance, you think, Anas? Yeah, but... This is a very nice shebeen. I'm not as nervous as I thought I would be. Do you know, <laughs> it's, they the say it's... the heartland of the northern it's, suburb. It's, uh, are these dead? Yes. Are you sure? Dead. Can I try one? Turn it me Yeah, that is good for you. No. What are you No. No, yeah? no Evita. Mmm. Gesundheit and the wrong Ah. Well, you know, that I'm told that this Shibin is actually being run by the Get Ahead Foundation to raise money to give people jobs. That's I think right. That's a, I'm so glad I'm here casually dressed for the evening. Very day subtle. Work. In this year, are you enjoying it, Maggie? Yes. What's the taste like? It tastes like dry horse and a fried zucchini, something oh, a combination of course, eight months, eight months. It's very interesting. Thank you, Maggie. This was very nice. Or so later, a bit of slap chips eat. Let's kick with Do you do any of these ethnic dances? Not yet, but I'm keen to expand the base of my party, Lisa, so perhaps now's the time. Toy toy a day keeps the communists at bay. That's what they say. Well, Shall we dance? Leon, shall we dance? <laughs> That was the most wonderful dance. Thank you, Oliver Arda. Oh. Must remember to get that for the house. Did you have a nice day with me? Evita, it was a day like none other. 
I so enjoyed getting to know you. You know, one sees you so often and you do so many things. You're a very important politician. My Jesu Jonk is for energy. Well, I don't know. I sometimes feel 110, so... Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know, they say the torch has been passed to the young generation. And if I was your fairy godmother, which of course I can't be, because I'm not you are. <laughs> I'm the nation's fairy godmother. If I was your fairy godmother and I gave you one wish, what would that be? Well, the wish I would have is that the Democratic Party doubled its votes in the next election. But um, there's another wish I have, mm. perhaps on a more serious note. And that is that um, we start to listen to each other and to also, in listening to each other, follow the path of success mm. because we have so much potential and things in one sense have gone so right politically but we don't really, or haven't really chosen the path of economic success yet and we can do that very easily if we all agree to follow those things that have worked and to reject those which haven't worked. Well, you lead us and we will follow you. I hope so. <laughs> Thank you. I've got a present for you. Oh, that's yes, wonderful. Yes, it's going to be very much part of your future because I can tell you, you can see, what does it say there? It says... Bachelor's survival kit. Yeah. No, but everyone wants me to get married, so I don't know if it will be part Ooh, of my but future. But you can, even when you're married, you might be alone for most of your life, no? <laughs> and so let me open that up there for you, Dar. And you can then... <laughs> <laughs> You see, they are on a brookies. Met the springboks. But they're very that. politically incorrect. Those That's underpants. why they're on the brookies because oh. you put other brookies <laughs> over them. Yeah. Then there is, I think, this lekker kies And then we've got white horse whiskey because you like your horses. Yeah. There's a nice donut or what do you mean, the a bagel. bagel? Yeah, so cooks is the sauna in the sauna. There's a clean politically correct messy. And natuurlijk dit, ne? This is going to sew up all the little holes in your socks. And of course, there's something for headaches. That's a ton of So that I hope every time you open this, you. I hope I don't need this too soon. Did this? Oh, no, no, no. Well, of course, you know, Nelson takes a loose 73. No? <laughs> <laughs> Although 76. That is it. Did this for you? Bye, I hope you enjoy it. Think of us all. Mm. Thank you, liver, liver, Tony. Oh, liver, Arthur, the sun is already shining. I'm still in my evening dress. The last time this happened to me was in New York when Pick and I went to Fastrap. <laughs> it's so lekker gestaan, gedaan. Oh, Tony Leon is such a lovely, elegant escort. Do you know, so many of my friends said when I told them I was going to go out with Tony, they said he's, he's arrogant, he's self-centered, that he's ruthlessly ambitious. Of course, he's a politician. But compared to the other politicians I've met, I will be very happy one day to put my little cross next to Tony's name. That's just snacks clunked it now, eh? <laughs> Never mind. You know exactly what I mean. Oh, what is he so? Ach, oh, ach, nee, so stout a mupani vorm. 